What's up? Thought I'd do a quick update since everything is changing. And, uh, yeah, haven't done shit. I've just been doing this. I'm not eating, sleeping, or at work. I've been on this guy trying to get it done. Uh, no gym time. <laughs> I'm a little obsessive when it comes to stuff, so. It's only me working on it, so it gets a little slow sometimes. I have, uh, just ran a little bit of oil through there for funsies. I got the 44 mil VS racing, the same gate I was running before. I just put it on the housing of a 78-75. More to that. This is a Gen 3 block with Gen 4 uh, internals. Dish piston still. 862, same heads, uh, 12-18s. I got an LS9 cam in it. Same lifters. I used the same bearings that were with that crank. It gets confusing. I just had a bunch of you know, whatever I can conjure up to make something worthwhile. I've kind of been gathering parts as I've got into the LS world, so there's that. I put up pictures of my sweet hot side. Kind of a little proud. Came out way better than I thought I was going to, uh, considering I did it in like a mm, few hours with you know, just a welder and a chop saw and a grinder. Um, you know, I hacked it all up and yeah, works out pretty good. Uh, I do have one V-band in there, I know someone was like, yo, no nothing, yeah, I put a V-band in, there's no flex, um, I have a Monkey Fab uh, T4 flange, let me tell you, if you're about to do a hot side, grab yourself one of these, Monkey Fab, Google it, it'll come up, um, I'm not sure the exact website, the guy's name is Michael Hennessy, I believe, found him through Matt and the Sloppy page, and yeah, that was a lifesaver. I'm really glad I did it. Made life a lot easier. Um, I just came straight off of that one with the 90 into the. It kind of worked well. I just started on this guy. Uh, that's the one that I had to do the chop, you know, chop off disc, and then uh, put a piece of tubing in there. I kind of threw up pictures so you get the hint. But then, uh, yeah, 90 into there, and then I left the the flange loose until I got the other side over, placed the turbo on the, I had an engine hoist here, placed the turbo exactly how I wanted it, and then tried to meet that side into this side, and then once I got the flange where I wanted it, then I tacked it, and then pulled everything off, welded accordingly. I kind of did it, you know, to the best of my knowledge, so I didn't get any warping on the V-band, you know, cinched up the V-band, hit each, you know, opposites, so like, a little, you know, like an inch, 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 inch around, um, just, just to keep it happy. I got a cooling mist sticker because I got a cooling mist trunk mount kit. Uh, I didn't put any pictures up, but that shit looks badass. Um, I'll put up more pictures or a video when I install it. I'm just gonna get the car running first. Have this inner fender out because I'm about to do right now. Actually, I'm about to do like literally right now, like literally. Uh, I'm gonna do like a three inch something like that and pop it out that fender. I also got a, from the same guy who made that monkey fab, I got one of those fender saver deals. It's pretty sweet. Actually, I have it right here. I'll just show you. Say hi, Max. Sweet. 5050 Motorsports. Dirty B Lark. I was just, I don't really like have a name for the car, but I always call it a bunch of fucking names. Dirty beat, kind of like dirty bitch, but anyways. Um, random other stuff, lug nuts, you know, just like little shit that I kind of had half assed the hell out of before. I fixed the radiator, uh, so I got the, the stock cover back on there, which I love. I didn't have that on there for a little bit, kind of bummed me out. Uh, I use this shit on the hot side, we'll see how it does. Thousand, thousand degree, whatever. I'm gonna use the old wastegate dump and I'm going to try to just jam it back into the, the downpipe. I have to do some mods to the intake. I had some shit that was fucked up on there like the uh, uh, vacuum reference for the training. I had like broke off a piece into the intake blah blah blah. Jerry rigged it. I'll fix it. Uh, I have to put the EV1 injectors on 
because I'm going with the gold box and I have my plug and play kit with the e EV1 style. I have a couple sets of decas, so I'll throw that in. Uh, just kind of work now. I have made a mount for the gold box. I don't know if the car's open. Hold on. Hold on. I know you're not, not holding on. If anybody even wants to see it. Um, I stole the drive shaft from my other car because I had a drive shaft on loan. Key doesn't work on this side. T totally forgot. You can see it in there. It's a freaking cutting board. And then some brackets of made out of aluminum. A whole bunch of wiring down there. So I still got that to do. Um, not too bad though. I should fire it this weekend. Before this weekend, this weekend. I'd really, really, really be happy with that. And then, uh, work for it. It's, for a second I feel like I'm, I'm not doing bad and then 10 minutes later I'm writing everything down on, on the ghetto list, which I had somewhere. I had like, yeah. So, I mean, I started just rambling stuff off and still got a bunch to do. So, alright. That's it for now.